what's up youtube it's your girl Nate, and i'm back with another video if you're not new to my channel go ahead and comment down below how much you miss me if you are new go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can know when i post another video from the time you can see that we're finna do another story time and i feel like this story time a lot of ladies can relate to because i'm pretty sure every woman has been through this so i'm just here to tell my story y'all because i'm pretty sure y'all had something similar or something opposite but similar <laughs> happened to y'all so make sure you stay tuned and make sure you follow me on instagram put it right here and make sure you follow me on twitter also i'm put it right here and without getting to the video okay y'all so as y'all know i had got a job whatever whatever i was working all of that so i was working at my job for like eight months yeah eight almost nine months y'all y'all see your girl hair has gotten long let me stay on top of it y'all see period we natural natural but anyways y'all so i was working for like eight months and like the first part i'm saying for four months for four months i was in the drive through so that means i was talking to the customers i was seeing people every day people you know whatever whatever so it was somebody that would always come through the drive through and i felt like this man was weird like he was so weird like he will always order i remember his order he was always look he will always order a dream bacon both for four and he'll get um, <clears throat> the strawberry lemonade so sometimes you know everybody that's the usual at Wendy's like most people gonna get it so sometimes I'm not gonna say every time I thought it was him but when I heard the order it's like okay um I think it's just nigga it needs to get some bigger so one day he came to drive through and he got um his food I'm sorry y'all I'm sleepy he got his food right so he complimented me. I'm like, uh, thank you. Gave me his change, whatever. He came back through the drive through y'all. I'm talking about like 20, 25 minutes later because the line was to the street. Y'all know how that shit be in fast food. Like, motherfuckers don't cook nowadays. So the line was to the street. Uh, so I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Like, you feel me? He came right through the line. He like, oh, I didn't get a straw. I'm like, hmm. All right, gave him straws, told him, you know what I'm saying, enjoy the rest of your day. He pulled to the parking lot like he sat and ate his food, right? But by the time, this was like, this had to be like seven-ish when he came back through a drive through because usually I'll take a break like 7.30 to 8 or 8.30. 8. Yeah, it usually like 7.30 to 8. So by the time I'm ready to go on break, He's still out there. And usually, y'all know I smoke weed or whatever. So, usually, I would go outside and smoke, y'all. But when I was clocked out for break, I looked out the um, pickup window. And I'm like, this man car still right here. But, shit, I really don't care because, shit, wait. What you going to do to me? And when it's definitely secure with all the cameras, everybody know me here. So, I mean, they'll be stupid. So, I go outside. I always took Wendy's um, dining chair outside because, I mean, Wendy's so wasn't sick. Get me started getting hot outside. Plus, when it was cold, it was like, I did not want to just be standing right there in the cold trying to, you feel me? No. Then when it got hot outside, I definitely was trying to be standing in the heat. So, I was using Wendy's dining chair. So, I sat down, like, like the way Wendy's made, it's like a block. Like, you really can't see who coming from around the corner. So, I sat on the other side of the entrance. And he was on the exit side. So, we on two different sides of Wendy's. So, I'm just sitting there. I run my blunt. I'm about to light my blunt. But I'm scrolling on Instagram and stuff, right? Because I haven't, I wasn't really on my phone today. Because I was in the window. I really didn't have time to be, you know what I'm saying, trying to do both of them. Pay attention to the order. So, I'm on my phone, scrolling on Instagram. And I just hear someone say, excuse me. And I look up, it's him. And I'm like, what are you doing, Matthew? What's up? He like, oh, um, I tried to use the bathroom, but the, um, the door locked. I'm like, yeah, the inside is not open. 
I know you know this because you come here every day. You come here every day. So the fact that you did that was weird, y'all, right? That was the first time. The second time he came to Wounds, he got his food. And I got him his change. He always get a four for four, y'all. He always got a four for four. So the fact that you even gave him 20 for $4 made me feel like, hmm, you wanted them type of things. You know what I'm saying? So when I got him back his change, he like keep change type shit. I ain't know, you feel me? I ain't gonna make you suck your money. I'm like, nah, get your money. He like, nah, you straight. I asked you about three times, I'm not gonna keep telling you to get your money. So I just put it in my pocket, like, please, it's mine. That's the second time. The third time, it's, it was just weird. Like, you wasn't in your car. Like, you talking about you doing DoorDash. Like, this was This is why I feel like it was weird because you're doing DoorDash, but you're on a bike. But I just seen you like too. I don't know if his car, he got a car sitting in the shop. I don't know. I just feel like it was weird because what are you doing on a bike? And then you know the inside not open. You know this, right? So I went to the window because they know I be chopping his ass off. Like, pissed him out. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I always, every time you come. So everybody there was like, now your friend outside. So I go to the door, like, what's up? What you doing? He like, door dash, shit like that. And I'm like, well, your DoorDash bag. And, you know, usually the DoorDash people that we had the app put up on their phone so they can tell you the name. So I'm like, okay, what's the name or the order? You all on Instagram looking and shit. Like, what is you doing? Like, you all on Instagram scrolling when I asked you for a name. So I'm like, it was weird. So he went to his notes and showed me his notes. And he put his number in his notes and was like, type your number. And I'm like, no. What is wrong with you? So you lie about door day so I can come to this door. What is wrong with you? You're weird. So that was like three times, right? Three times of the weirdness. The fourth time, usually I get to work probably like five minutes before because it's windy. It's like that I want to eat. Okay. So I ate my food, chilling, one clock in. I probably had like 10, 15 minutes left to clock in. I look like, I'm just looking. Like, I don't know what made me look, but I'll end up looking up. And he in the window like this, y'all. I got the picture, and I'm going to post it right here. Like, he in, the, he in the window like this. What the fuck is that? He in the window like this. I'm like... Why being weird to Why? Why you being weird to me? What the fuck? Like, what is wrong with you, boy? So, I ran and tell the manager, like, I feel like this boy, like, I don't, I'm not comfortable. Like, I don't feel like, I don't know, just to keep seeing him. Like, of course, when he's got ready customers, but to see you, like, four days straight in a row, it was just weird. And I, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it made me feel. He got these stark vibes. And y'all know you be at work more than you be at home. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if somebody know where you work at and where you live at, it's like, you really fuck because you you be at work more than you be at home. You be at work five times a week. You be at home two days. So people can catch you at work more than they can catch you at home. You know? So it's like, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that. So, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'm not, I don't have protection. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just not that type of person to, like, to keep it keep it on me. Like, everywhere. Like, some paranoid type shit. Because I have children. And I have anger issues. And if I know for sure that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go talk with nobody. I ain't going to even fight you. I'm just shoot you first. And it's not okay. Like, that's why people are dying today. So, I'd rather leave my weapon at home. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever was to come to my home, I'm going to blast your way because I got every right because you came to my home. You know what I'm saying? I don't like taking my weapon in public because I feel like I'm going to get myself into some shit. Whether it's self-defense or not. At the end of the day, I have children. Like, I want to use that weapon to protect me and my children. Not to just be out here, you know what I'm saying? Killing other people when I could have just punched our way inside. You know what I'm saying? So... I really didn't, but with me, I had to let him that no, like, look, I'm not one of them. I don't know what you used to, but I'm not one of them. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Like, I don't play like this. 
the fuck? But I know a lot of y'all can probably relate to these. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of weird men that have came on to you ladies. And you're just like, I'm not, I just, I'm not comfortable leaving alone. What do you want? Like, I, I say, no, you, it's like men can't take rejection. They just feel like they the done daughter. They that nigga and every bitch want them. Like, not everybody find you appealing. What look good to you might not look good to me. What look good to me might not look good to you. Like, everybody had their own preference. Like, just because she like you, that don't mean I am. Like, you you are all right, but I'm not on that type of shit. And then I got a man at that. Like, boy, leave me alone. She, she was like, uh, hey, look, a situation like that, you gotta learn how to, but you gotta learn how to play a role in a situation like that, cause you just never know what a nigga might do. Like he could, I, I was in that work at one o'clock in the morning, so you could then wait for me to work anything. So that's why I was trying to play it cool, like play it like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh you know, relax, relax. I ain't really want to check him out, but when I see him looking at that motherfucker window, I tried to manage like, look, I'm not comfortable, and I'm gonna let this nigga know going on. Period. And I did it. And I haven't seen him since then, cause I haven't been no news. I don't know. I just felt like it was weird, and it made me uncomfortable. And I feel like black women should not have to go through that. I feel like men should learn how to accept rejection. And if a woman says no, that means no. Period. No means no. And I'm gonna put that in the hashtag. No means no. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video.